In this season of Thanksgiving, let's soberly assess three top reasons for you to be thankful living in a culture of death. One, you exist. With the contraception revolution of the 1960s beginning with the pill, chances of you coming into being became very small. In the 1980s, in just one generation, the family shrank from an average of around five children to less than two, with many couples deciding not to have any. Your coming into being, despite our contraception age, was more than a miracle. Number two, you weren't aborted before birth. Many of your peers were. One in four people, in fact, conceived after 1973 have been killed by surgical abortion, and perhaps ten times that many have been killed by chemical means. This includes abortion pills, morning after pills, and even common birth control pills, that when they fail to contracept, they abort tiny embryonic children without their mother's knowledge. All this coupled with countless human beings killed and frozen indefinitely by the in vitro fertilization process made your chance of survival to birth highly improbable. Nonetheless, like winning the lottery, you beat the odds amidst a contraception culture and an abortion age. Which brings us to number three. You now live by the grace of God with the wisdom that enables you to rise above the lies of the world to see evil as it is. You wouldn't have lasted this long in this video without this gift. So it's fitting to show your, your thanksgiving to God by informing your sphere of influence that the proverbial king of the culture of death has no clothes on. You'll be mocked and ridiculed, but at peace, knowing your faithful courage will plant seeds of truth. It will inev inevitably bear good fruit. And that's your Murano Minute. Be a light so that others may live. <laughs>